Dan Matheny presents Customizing Your Menus in ICE Window Manager. Greetings. Dan Matheny again. Anyway, I'm going to make a quick video on how to do menus in ICE Window Manager. So let's go ahead and check things out. Well, I changed some things around. I no longer have a certain things, certain programs. So I could either open it, open the file manager right here, and go to, you know, th this is where all your stuff is. But my defaults with the menu, okay, so I'm using XTG Menu Maker, which I can uh, show a link for their Arch Wiki. But I have a couple different menus going on. I have the app menu, which is XDG menu maker and then I have my menu. The menu I'm going to be changing today is my menu. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm just gonna open a terminal and do this today. As I can. So I got my little keyboard shortcut, but this is how my workspaces are. If you can see on the bottom I have one through five Roman numeral numerals. I can't even talk, but yeah. But, uh, it's an awesome little window manager. Anyway, let me go ahead and just... Vim is my text editor, and I'll go ahead and make this full screen. Okay, so... You can still see me in the background, that's awesome. Uh, alright. So... I'm gonna edit my menu today, so... If, just to show you an example on how, how the uh, infrastructure of how this is set up. Now, for instance, you know, if you look right here, these are the menus. I had Microsoft Edge and Pale Moon. I'm going back and forth between browsers right now, but uh, I also have my toolbar, but I'll show you that also. These are my custom options, you know, for certain things I want to do. So, um, and I use Ranger, use Cam, but, but I like having a lot of options even though like most of the time now I'm using uh, Rofi to run applications so and I'm using Rofi on here I was using the window and keyboard uh, window and spacebar I should say but yeah I mean XDG menu maker works fine it's just you're not gonna have uh, you're gonna have to edit the icons yourself if you want different icons but I'm not worried about icons I just like the structure on how it's set up it's easier for me to get to but I do like menu maker by itself um, with how I have things set up I don't want it to write directly to the menu because I like having my extra stuff here anyway I'll go ahead and get started so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out sometimes you have to add in another icon because the the icon that they may have for it is not there Alright, so let's just get the show on the road here. I'm just going to replace this with Libre Wolf. I keep playing around with browsers. I can't find the perfect browser for me. But also there's other things you could do. Like I could just highlight web on there instead of using the uh, Libre Wolf icon. But we're going to try that. We're going to see how that works. But I have the same thing going on for Alacrity where I have the X term thing right there and I'm using Alacrity. But that's what I'm doing for that. So, um, but I don't have Microsoft Edge installed. Because I've been playing around with the DWM and kind of thinking about how I want to go about things. But yeah, I know we have the Brave icon. ISWM. But this is if you have the icon. If you don't, you can specify an icon through the folder you have in .iswm when you copy everything over after you install it. So, and that's all good. So, what we're going to do now is save this. And now, let's go ahead and restart ISWM and see if that all shows up. Okay, so this all shows up right here everything here shows up so that's cool I don't have to really edit 
anything else. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a link for ICE, uh, not for ICE, but for XDG Menu Maker. I'll go ahead and just show you my toolbar right quick in a text editor. I'll just show you my toolbar and what's missing. If you see on the bottom, those are the applications I have on there, but I'll show you what's missing. But I'm probably just not going to worry about the toolbar since I use Rofi to uh, run applications. But yeah, I would have to change this, but instead what I'm just going to do is delete it. Okay, so like I said, you know, I'll send a link and uh, it's pretty much simple. You include, I'm just going to show you in the file manager, in the default menu here, okay, you want to include the app menu for XTG Menu Maker if you install that or if you really, really like Menu Maker. I'll show you the options here and show you what you can do. Right, actually, let's go to help just so I make sure that I'm right doing this. There's a list and uh, basically you can just dump the menu into a file instead. So I'm going to do that today. And it'll just dump it to the home directory. So let's just make sure that that's right. IceWM and then T for alacrity. And I like the uh, command line based things, but you, there's a lot of different options for Menu Maker. Um, if you don't want the uh, stuff like, you know, also Mixer or anything like that, you can change that. But anyway, I'll just show you what this looks like right quick. So yeah, it'll program it into here. So basically what you would do is copy all this and then, you know, instead what you do is you go to app menu and you know, I'd copy it in Vim because that's what I've been getting used to now. Um, you would just copy it and put it into here, but this is where your app menu is put. But this is my idea of a cool, appropriate menu. But I just wanted to show you that right quick. That's a quick video on how to change your menu an IceWM or set up some kind of custom menu. If there's programs you really like to use, I got programs all over the place. So I don't even have my web browsers up anymore because I had web browsers on the desktop and I have web browsers here and I have web browsers here. So I mean, you don't really need too many icons and I got icons right here. So anyway, you know, I might add some custom scripts or something like that because I've been using a couple different programs that are based in the terminal and stuff. But I can just, if I want to listen to one song, I'll just, I got YouTube CLI installed. You could probably do the same thing with YouTube-DL, but, you know, I'll listen to some kind of song for a second, you know, if I really am in the mood. But anyway, that concludes everything for customizing your menu in ICE Window Manager. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. This has been a Dan Matheny production.